Hey everyone, it's Living the Vera Loca, and today I'm going to be doing a review of the Vera Bradley hard shell case for iPhone 4 and 4S. This is the case. It's in the pattern Doodle Daisy, which is one of the newer patterns for summer 2012. And um, this is the box that came in. I have put it on my phone already. I just thought I'd put it in the packaging to show you, uh, show you what it looked like when I got it. And... Okay, so as you can see, it says for 4 and 4S right here. And um, on the back, there's just a uh, like Vera Bradley story, like how it was founded and everything. And it retails for $35. Okay, so to open this, it's just like a clear window to see the case and green outlining. Sorry that um, my camera is being really blurry right now. Okay. So you go to the top of the box and there's this little ribbon and you just pull on it and the case comes out. That's all it was. There was no plastic around it or anything. That's how it came out. So yeah, so then you just pull this off and sorry, I took this part out. I didn't feel like shoving it back in. There was this card in the case originally, which is also the Vera Bradley story, just in a little card. And I wanted to keep the card so I didn't want to bend it by putting it back in. So yeah. Okay, now, this is the case in Doodle Daisy, and, well, first let me just show you, uh, like, make sure you know that it's a working iPhone case. It has the pattern on the back here, but then the sides is all blue, well, in this case blue, it would be any coordinating color to whatever pattern you got. So on this side, there's nothing, and then on the top, there's a cut out for your earphone or headphone jack and your lock um, power button thing and then on the other side there's this cut out for your volume buttons and your switch to put the phone on vibrate and then on the bottom is a cut out pretty much the whole bottom not the whole bottom but you know like um, enough so you have your speakers and your power cord like where you charge the phone there so, okay, so now when I got this case, I originally thought it was like one full, you know, like a full plastic hard case, and it was like one piece, and I would have to like, it's one of those cases, you know, where you have to jam your phone in, and it takes forever, but you eventually get it in, but it's not, so let me show you. Okay, so I was doing this the whole time, I'm like trying to like, you know, wiggle it and squish it in, and it wasn't working at all. So then I realized that this is not just one piece. So this is mainly why I wanted to do this video to show people because I actually scratched mine a little trying to shove it in there. So this is a few pieces. You could, the easiest, it's actually three pieces. So the easiest thing to do um, when the phone's not in the case is to take this back piece off first, the pattern piece. So to do that, you just take on this side and just like, you know, squid, like push it out. And that piece comes out pretty easily. You can see those are two different pieces now. But there's a third piece. So let me just put this aside for a sec. Okay. The third piece is on the front of it. If you can see, no, that's the easiest spot to see. I'm going to try to focus it. See that crack right there? That is the separation for another piece. So that piece is hard to get out when the for, when the whole case is together. But if you take the back out first, for some reason, it's really easy to get out. But it's hard to get the phone out of the case once it's already in the case. But it's not hard to take the case apart when it's alone, basically. So, okay. So that, if you can see, is two separate pieces. Um... Yeah, they are supposed to come apart, if you can see, that they have, like, little interlocking things. Because at first I thought, oh, my God, did I break it? But, no, it is supposed to come apart. Um, okay, so now, these are the three pieces. Okay, so, now, um, well... Let me just tell you what this is made out of. It's like, this is all made out of, like, this part is plastic, hard plastic. But this part and, like, the outer rim, well, that's hard plastic, too. But this outer rim 
sorry, that's hard plastic too is what I said, but this outer rim um, is also like rubbery plastic, so it, it has a nice feel to it, it's easy to hold and everything. Okay, so, oh, I forgot to show you that there is also a cutout on the back of the case for your camera, so you don't have to take off the case when you use the camera, which is good. Most fo uh, phone cases have that now, but just in case you were wondering. Um, the easiest thing that I found easiest to put your phone in here is to take the this middle piece, which is the piece that's like goes around the sides, not this piece that goes on the front, the middle piece and the back piece first. So I'm just going to put the front piece aside for a sec. And, um, okay, so you take this and you just put it together, make it line up. And then just, it doesn't even really need to click, because I think without the other piece in there, it just doesn't have that, like, lock, if you can see. There's nothing to lock it in. When the other piece goes, it'll come down here and lock this in. So, you just put that together, and you kind of hold it together, or you put it on a surface. And then you take your iPhone, and you just place it in. And remember to hold it because your iPhone will go right through the bottom. Um, so just make sure it's on. And you see there's nothing holding it in yet because you take this piece now and you just put it over the front. Sorry, it's kind of hard to do this like in the air. But then you just make sure it slides in correctly. And then just snap it all along the sides. Sorry, let me just get this last piece in. It is a little tricky sometimes, like, as you can see right there. Well, it's kind of hard to tell on camera. Oh, there, you see the little crack there? That's a little, um, opened. I have to kind of un undo this part a little to get to fix that, which is the part that's bad. Like, this top piece, once it's on the phone, is very hard to get off the phone. It, like, and I just painted my nail, so this is going to, like, it chips it. It's kind of hard to do that part, but... You'll eventually get the hang of it, I think. Um, okay, so it's pretty much in there. I just got to fix a little part. Um, but, yeah. So, that's it. It's in the phone. It looks really nice, I think. Like, it looks... I'm glad... Like, if I had the black iPhone, I don't know. I just don't think it would look as nice just because... Doodle Daisy has white in it, but I'm sure black iPhones look nicer in certain patterns. So, it's really whatever you like. But I think this looks really nice and cute. And I love that it's Rhea Bradley and it's just really pretty. Uh, so as you can see, the cutout for everything that I told you, it's all there. The camera cutout. I love how the camera is right in, like, the middle of, like, this little flower. I think that's really cute. And all of the placement on these are exactly the same because I think they just, like, print it up, you know? So, yeah. So, it really is cute and it really works and I really like it. Uh, I don't know if there's anything else. I guess if you have any questions because i never really reviewed, like, a phone case before, so I'm afraid I missed something that people are, like, looking for, like, to know about the phone case. So if you have any questions, just comment below. And um, thank you for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Bye.